Local, your first choice for local news in Brampton and Mississauga. With anchor, Roger Wardell. Videographers, Spencer Gallish and Lowe. Kristen Ewing. Andrea Black. And Joanne Lazara. And now, first local news. Good evening. Finance Minister Jim Flaherty laid out the budget this afternoon and it calls for a cut in personal income taxes, including increasing the basic personal amount that can be earned tax-free. Flaherty will cut business taxes by $2 billion over six years. The budget also includes $12 billion for infrastructure spending on things like roads, sewers and universities, including $1 billion for green infrastructure and another billion for clean energy research. $7.8 billion is earmarked for social housing and private home renovation, including a one-year home renovation tax credit of up to $1,350 per household. Employment insurance benefits will be extended by five weeks for two years. It is forecasted that Ottawa will run an $80 billion deficit over the next five years. That works out to about 80% of the money the federal government has paid off the debt over the last decade. The Bloc Québécois says it will not support the budget, while the Liberal Party says it needs 24 hours to look it over. In our poll question today, we're asking, what do you think of the federal budget? It's really good, it's okay, or it's bad? To vote, go to our website at www.rogerstv.com. And in our last poll question, we asked, should the government run a deficit to help the economy out of a recession? 70% of you that responded said yes, it should. 30% of you said no, it should not. Well, Health Canada is recalling the Disney lipstick and lip gloss combos imported from China by Mississauga company Centura Brands. The stickers glued onto the cap of the products contain excessive amounts of lead. The products were sold from April 2008 and January 2009 exclusively at Dollarama stores across Canada. Centura has also voluntarily withdrawn 172,000 units of six similar products, including a hair clip, nail polish, and a mirrored keychain. Consumers should remove stickers and dispose of them in regular household garbage. For more information, consumers can contact Centura Brands at 1-800-948-5963. Well, the Dixie Outlet Mall was the site for a world record attempt on the weekend. First Locals' Lena Trachilo has the story. Every year, thousands of people in Canada come together and participate in Family Literacy Day at shopping centres, libraries, public schools and at home to encourage parents and children to read together. Today we are celebrating Family Literacy Day and uh, the main component of the event is the Guinness Book of World Records. We're trying to break the record for most children reading with an adult at once over a 24-hour period. Special guest reader Patty Sullivan from CBC Kids engaged the audience with an enthusiastic reading of books by renowned author Robert Munch. Well, partly because he's the honorary chair of the ABC Literacy Foundation, which started up Literacy Day, uh, but also he's a well-known, well-loved Canadian author, and a lot of the kids know the stories, and they're great for storytelling because they're so animated. If the current numbers are any indication, Canada has a good chance of taking the title. The current record stands at 78,000 children, and that record is currently held by the United States. As of um, Thursday, ABC Canada had over 100,000 participants registered, so we're well on our way to breaking the records. The World Record Initiative is a great way to rally Canadian communities and help raise awareness of the benefits of adults and children reading and learning together, as well as spending some quality family time. In Mississauga, Lena Triculo, First Local. And local community services are feeling the crunch as donations have dropped during the last few months, but some recent donations have helped. First Local's David Krychowski reports. The Ontario Intercultural Community Services Organization got a large boost of community support for their Malton Food Bank location, which provides help for those who need assistance in their lives. It was our passion to provide the services which are relevant to the real problems of the community. The cash poor people were facing a problem in this area where we have stationed our food bank and the first food kitchen. It's a community kitchen, uh, first of its nature in Mississauga municipality and we saw that there were many cash poor people, they were not uh, getting the opportunity to get the food closer to the Malton settlement and uh, some areas of the Dixie and Dairy uh, coordinates. 
To help keep this passion alive, Rogers TV's own station manager, Jake Deere, was on hand to present a $5,000 donation to the organization. Back in November, the OICS announced the Malton Food Bank was in danger of closing its doors. And now with even more community support, the food bank can continue to provide the important services to those who need it most. There's so many people in need that need service, that need to know about uh, different things like housing, shelters, immigration. There's so many people that need employment services. There's people that have just uh, the survivor job. They're new to Canada and they might need to use the food bank as an extra help because they can't afford to pay for everything on their own. And these services are especially important in helping people through the economic hardship felt here in Peel and across the country. In Mississauga, David Krajewski, First Local. And it was more than just fun and games at the Mississauga game, Majors game versus the Owen Sound attack on the weekend. It was also a time for players and fans to show some heart. Tonight, we're celebrating I Heart Hazel. We're in a countdown, 88-day countdown to the mayor's birthday party, which is February the 14th. We're unveiling the official naming of the Hazel McCallum Center for Heart Health. So we're partnering with uh, St. Mike's Majors to encourage people to show the mayor some love and give in donations of eight or 88 or 880 dollars or whatever they see fit in support of the mayor and the Trillium Health Centers Advanced Cardiac Care Center now that we've renamed the Hazel McCallum Center for Heart Health. I'm well, coming here uh, to see a good hockey game for one thing, the Mississauga St. Mike Majors, but most important of all, this is to recognize the great campaign that the Trillium Health Foundation has undertaken. I'm also very honored that it's in my name, the Hazel McCallum Healthy uh, Heart Center. So. And the people of Mississauga, I know, will respond because uh, when it comes to raising funds for a very vital service that all communities need is a hospital, and this hospital is exceptional. One of the best in Canada. Mayor McAllen has continued to lead her constituents by example. Her amazing ability to inspire and motivate has not gone unnoticed. Today she has a ceremonial role, but it's her legacy that will help change tomorrow. Well, the mayor has been a... Uh, uh, an untiring ambassador and supporter of the Trillium Health Center. And in her 30-year tenure as mayor, we thought it was a great honor to have her lend her name to the Advanced Cardiac Care Center, but also it's uh, an honor for the mayor as well, too, to receive that, uh, that privilege of the namings. At the Hershey Center in Mississauga, Deja Gordon, First Local.